Hello, hello, good evening class. Welcome. Hi, Diana. Hello, Rafael. Hi. Hello, hello. teacher. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Hi, hello, good evening. Hey. Oh, good evening. Hi. Um, good evening, teacher. 
Carlos, hello, welcome, Lady, Veronica, Fernando, please, guys, turn hello, on your teacher. Hi, how are you? How was your day? Um, today is, it's Travel. my, my day off. Your day off, wow, that was yes. awesome. What do you do? Excellent day. Okay, it was an excellent day, perfect. Uh, hi, lady. Hi, Rosa. Hey, nice to see you, ladies. Diana, Carmen, let's see, Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Hi, teacher. Hello. A ver, ahí me van ayudando. ¿Quién nos hace falta ahí con las camaritas? Okay, guys, we're going to start with our session. Just let me share for... Um, okay. Okay, question. Can you see my presentation? Yes. Ya todos ven la presentación, chicos? Sí. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start, guys, with a nice class for today. And let's see where we're going to remember some important details about the module. Recordemos ahí algunos detalles importantes, 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones, right? Uh, and um, showing you this because important, right? Okay, hold on. Um, I think it's Carlos. Okay. So now let's see. Um, remember that we have uh, to complete these sections uh, during the module. Recordemos ahí nada más. Esto es un recordatorio de las actividades que vamos a desarrollar durante todo el módulo. Semana 1, eh, las fechas y... Esto es por motivo de la plataforma. Ahora vamos a estar utilizando la plataforma, eh, pero quienes no la han utilizado todavía, este día vamos a trabajar en ella para que ustedes se familiaricen también, ¿ok? It's simple, ¿ok? Y también si tienen preguntas, pues no duden en consultar. Ok, so now let's continue. And again, our agenda, we have a warming up, a class objective, a pre-task activity, and uh, task preparation, we also have some tasks and a wrap up. And uh, you, you have an assignment at the end of the session, right? Okay. Let's... Okay, so look at this. We're going to start with a uh, warming up. So the instructions, please. Carlos, can you read the instructions? Instruction, war as. Uh, 18. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, select a car number and find the object. Shout it uh, uh, participate actively. Okay, participate actively. Okay, perfect. So look at this. I'm going to show you um, as we played in the previous class, I'm going to show you some cars and you have to go and find some uh, things that are going to appear on the cards. Okay, so just let me open that. So just give me one second, okay? So while it's opening. So question, uh, let's see. Rafael, what do we have to do, Rafael? Todavía no me carga la pantalla. Todavía no le carga la pantalla. Hmm. No, me parece que voy al warning up. Ok, so let me see. Show me word as team, solo el carmen del phone, el peor de Show me por eso que voy a Ok, nice. So listen up. Uh, we're 12 right now, and I'm going to divide the class in two. So it means that, um, let's see. So listen up, I'm going to assign you a team number, okay? Rafael, um, let's see, Carmen, uh, please add your, let's see, your last name. Me ayudan ahí con sus nombres y sus apellidos. Si le falta eh, Carmen, aquí me parece Carmen. Eh, Carmen Elena está bien, eh, solamente la otra Carmen. <ríe> ya vamos a aprender a distinguirla. 
Eh, la otra Carmen ahí se me activa el micrófono para agregarle el apellido también. Eso por motivos de asistencia. Recuerden activar su camarita. Ok, so that's... Um, thank you. Thank you, ladies. Ok, eh, nada más llamamos a Carmen ahí. Si nos apoya Carmen, regalándonos su nombre para agregarlo acá. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez, teacher. Ok, thank you. Gracias. Okay, perfect. Thank you, ladies. Um, okay, so look at this. Uh, we're 14, and let's see. I'm going to assign you a number, right? Okay. Carl, listen up, listen up. Uh, Carlos Argueta, Carlos Miguel, Carmen Elena, uh, Carmen Guadalupe, and Diana, you're going to be team number one, okay? Team number one. Fernando. Julio, Lady, Milton, Oscar, Rafael, um, and Rosa and Veronica, you are team number two, okay? Team two, team two, okay? Do you get your, do you get your number? Yes? Let's see, uh, Julio, what's your team number? Two. Two, okay, let's see. Rosa, what's your team number? Hello, Rosa, what's your team number? One or two? Two. Two, right? Rosa, hello, hello, Rosa. No le escuchamos. Let me see. I can see Rosa. Yo, me parece que está bajito el, el sonido. No sé si serán los micrófonos, el micrófono algo. No, no le escuché, Rosa. Okay, let's see. I'm going to check somebody else. Uh, Diana, what's your team number? Diana. One. One. Okay, perfect. So listen up, I'm going to show you a card. You're going to select a number as a team and later on you have to go and find the thing that you have been asked. Okay, for example, let's try with team number one. Team one, please select a number. Somebody from the team, select a number. Number five. Number five, okay. So can you find a comb? So everybody is going to go and, and look for a comb and show it to the camera, okay? Clear? So can you find a comb, team one? Team one, let's see. Find a comb. Raise your hand, team one. Raise your hands. Okay, Carlos, let's see who else. Carmen, okay, Carmen Guadalupe, let's see. So go and find a comb, what's a comb? What's a comb? Uh, Carmen Guadalupe. Let's see, team, go and find a comb, nobody? Vamos a ver, todos mostrando ahí, and looking and find it. So remember that you all have to do it. Todos tienen que hacerlo juntos, ¿ok? Si el, eh, quien lo haya elegido tiene que ir y buscarlo también, todos, todo el equipo. Vamos a ver, team, come on. Ok, let's see, I just got, Carlos, how... guys, do you come your hair? By the way. <laughs> Okay, Carmen Guadalupe, very nice. How about, let's see, Rafael, did you find one? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, we- <we're>... Not use. <laughs> you could have seen one, okay. Well, that's better. Um, thank you. Okay, so you all have to do it. Recuerden que todos lo tienen que hacer. So you all have to do it. So I, we only got one, Carmen, so that's no point, but. Well, I'm going to consider it. <laughs> Let's see, because this is your first time. 
Vamos a considerarlo porque es la primera vez. Let's see. Team two, pick a number. Remember, work as a team. Team two, pick a number. Team, hello. Number nine. Number nine. Okay, so you're ready to run? You're ready to run, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, can you find some gloves? So hurry up, you have one minute. <laughs> wow, Oscar. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> so Oscar is ready. Somebody else? Nobody else? Let's see. Oh. Excellent lady, very good. So do you drive a motorcycle, guys? Rene, uh, Oscar? Yes. Yes? Yes, I ride, I ride the motorbike. Okay, nice, very good. Okay, so now let's continue. Team one, be ready for this one. Okay. Ahora ya saben. Okay, team one. Go ahead, team one. Pick a number. Team, hello. Number two. Number three. Two. Two, okay. So can you find a hat, guys? Can you find a hat? Come on, hurry up. Go okay. look for a hat. So everybody wearing a hat. Let's see, T1. Come on. Wow, he's getting some help, Carlos. <laughs> okay, Carlos, uh, Miguel, uh, Carlos Argueta, Rafael, very good, excellent, guys. So we got three, so we're improving, very good. Okay, so now let's continue. Uh, Ana, Veronica, do you have a hat? No? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Very good. Veo que algunos todavía no están ahí. So you have to go and look for that, guys. <laughs> okay, so but very good. Let's see. Team two, go ahead. Pick a number. Seven. Seven. Okay, creo que hay algunos. Creo que hay una persona que se acaba de incorporar. Incorpórese al team one. Okay, team two. Please, uh, seven, you said, right? Okay. So can you find a stuffed toy? A teddy bear, any st a stuffed toy? So can you go, oh, wow, Oscar. Are you slipping by the way, Carlos Argueta? Look at Carlos Argueta's uh, toy. Uh, Julio, how about you, Julio? Don't you have any toy? No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, lady, okay. well, that's not stuff. Let's see, uh, Rosa, do you show us yours. Let's see, okay, very good, very nice, very cute. Okay, perfect, excellent. So I'm going to give you the points, okay? Let's see, team one, so you have to do it better, team one. Please pick a number. Eight. Eight, okay. Can you find a banana? Hurry up. Let's see, one, two, three. Guys, team, go ahead, hurry up. Let's see. Okay, Diana. You eating, Diana? No? <laughs> Let's see, just Diana. And how about the rest? Hmm. Do we, do we give the point to them? Okay, Rafael, very good. The planting, Carlos, excellent. Okay, that's the attitude, guys. Perfect. Okay, team two, go ahead. So I'm going to consider this for the following points. Um, team two, six. Six. Okay. Yes. So can you find a broom? Can you find a broom? Quickly, hurry up. Can you find a broom? Let's see. Do you? Uh-huh. Okay, let's see. Bruins. No Bruins. Okay, Oscar. So he's the fastest in here. Mm, okay, but <laughs> well, let's see. And how about the rest? Do you clean your houses? Do you clean the house? Está bien lejos para ir a traer. Yeah, Magneto, you're too young. 
Miren, el más jovencito de toda la clase. Está diciendo que está muy lejos. Come on. <laughs> ok, Carla, Ana, Marlene. She's looking for the broom. <laughs> ok, and Carlos, uh, how about your health? Carlos Miguel. Ok, let's see. Now, let's continue, team. Ok, team one. Ready for the next one, team? Yes? Ready? Please. Select it one. Number one. Okay, number one. Can you find some money? Okay, money. So this is easy. Okay, can you find some money? Nice, Carmen. Perfect. Carlos, a penny and what else? Five cents, I think. Carlos, yes, right? Carlos Miguel. What's that, Carlos? <laughs> Show us, please. Okay, look at that. For the week. <laughs> okay. Son de, son de a uno todo. Ah, okay. Yes, five dollars. One, uh, one of them for each. Yeah, all of them for the day of the week. Okay, now let's continue. Nice. Team two, ready? Ready to win or lose? Tell me. Number 10. 10, okay. Can you find a potato? Can you find a potato? Go ahead. Potatoes. Do you love potatoes? Excellent, Ana Veronica. I think she's eating. I think. <laughs> okay, potato, right? Okay, Carmen, perfect. Lady, no, potatoes. <laughs> they are too expensive nowadays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice, Rafael, nice. Uh, Oscar, <laughs> ah, okay. So I thought he was like imagining or <laughs> creating something. <laughs> okay, nice, very good. Thank you. Let's see, team one. Okay, team one, go ahead. Quien se nos acaba de incorporar, incorpora el team one, okay? Ya traje la papa, corre. <laughs> okay. I am running. Te la muestro para ver si es cierto. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, let's see. Team one, go ahead and pick one. Number three. Number Damn, three. Okay. Number three. Team one, ready. Can you find a remote control, guys? No le vayan a pegar. They're watching some others right now. Um, Maria Lynn, Carmen, okay, Carmen. How about the rest, team? Fernando, Rafael. Yo creo que debe estar debajo de la cama. Debajo de la cama. Ok. So you don't watch TV. Guadalupe. Perfect, Guadalupe. Carlos, Agueta. Excellent. Let's see. Todavía están pensando algunos a dónde lo dejaron. ¿no? Ok. Team 2. Team 2. Number. Hola, 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 Rosa. Se escucha un poco. Eleven, solo? dice Rosa. Yo le alcanzo a escuchar. Eleven, dice Rosa. Eleven, ok. Ok, team, give points to team one. Ah, eso es estafa. Team two, give points to team one. How many? Five, ten, team, twenty, twenty-five. Be be good. Why? Um, Why? Be good. Bye. Just Bye. Bye. remember this thing one. Remember that decision, okay? Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, team one. So you're winning, team one. Team one, please pick a number. Team one, look for. Four, okay. Can you find some glue? The kids glue. So take it from the kids kit. Let's see, can you find some glue? Glue? Do you have any glue? No? No glue. Do you have kids? Do you have kids? No? No. Okay. Okay. Well, 
So no, no points. points. No points. No points. Yes. Yeah, sadly, but no points. Yes. <laughs> you have to <laughs> you have to make an extra it's or it's let's it's check. It's better. Oops. It's team, it's you were to, in him. <laughs> okay, team. It's better two. to give than to receive. Mm -hmm. So nothing. <laughs> they got nothing. Team two. Team two, demonstrate. Okay. For team. For team. Can you find some chocolate? Chocolate. 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 Okay. Chocolate. Chocolate. Ya se lo comieron. Eso es malo. Milton. Very good, Fernando. Is it bad? Yeah. Ana Veronica. She likes to eat. Veronica loves eating. Rene. Okay. Hmm. Is that a chocolate, Pene? Carlos? Yes, it's and uh, Okay, Carlos. Chocolate. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to check the next one. Okay. Team one. Revenge, team one. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Yes. Is it yes. Better? Okay. Okay. Perfect. So you you see revenge. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Team two. I didn't plan it. Okay. I didn't plan it. Team two. <laughs> Not point. I see. Okay. Uh, yes. Tell us number. Carmen Elena. Tiene. 13. Okay, 13. Can you find a snow globe? Yeah. Um, so, yeah but I'm not, I think that's not la, really common nowadays. Wow, Rene. He has everything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, lady. Wow, that's so nice. Cool. Snowboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, after. What's that? Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's taking advance. <laughs> okay. okay, very good. Okay, team one, your turn and your last opportunity. Team one. Um, Think about the number. Think about the number. So we never know what's going to happen. <laughs> 15, 16, yes, team, 15, 16. Yes, 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 okay, <laughs> double points, okay, double points, okay, team two, we're going to see what's your luck for today. Okay, can you find a pet? Bring the cat. <laughs> anda, anda en el techo, el gato ahorita. Bring the glue, go look for it. <laughs> okay, now pets. Yes. Okay, yes, so, uh, well, uh, team one, uh, all of you are winners, okay? Yes, yes igualito al de la foto. <laughs> okay, Oscar, perfect. So he has everything. I don't know how he do that. Okay. It's very, very, uh, very easy. It's very fast. Okay. So now it's time to continue. And so just let me close something. Uh, and we're going to pass attendance. Okay. So it's a 20. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ana, Marlene, or Andrade Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Veronica Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Luz Delgado. Okay, Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Roberto Argueta.
Carlos Roberto Argueta Ramos. Hola, present. Thank you. Carmen Elena Moratayá Alas. Present. Thank you, Carmen. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Clelia Estela Flores. What is Clelia? Clelia Estela Flores. Not here. Daniel Alberto Ramos. Okay. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Diana Maribel Hueso. Present. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Me acaba de pronunciar. Ah, okay. Sorry. Let's see. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Okay. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio Cesar Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joana Hernández. Present. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Nilton. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Angeles Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Not here yet. Okay. Thank you, guys. So now let's continue. Okay. Um, look at this. This is our class objective. We have, um, let's see, uh, Carlos. Uh, can you read that, please, Carlos? Carlos Argueta. Hello, hello, Carlos. So can you read the class objective, Carlos? Activate yes. the microphone. Thank you. Class objective. I will be able to give instruction about how some products have to be handled. Mm -hmm. Handled. Mm -hmm. Stored. Store. Stored. Okay. Thank you so much. So now let's continue. We're going to study with our vocabulary practice, guys. And here we have the, the word. We're going to check some uh, phrase and verbs in order to learn some words related to work or some activities that you perform at work. For example, we have carry out, carry out, carry out. So the meaning, what's the meaning? Let's see. Anna, can you read the meaning, please? Okay. Meaning to perform to perform work, to do a job. Example, we need to carry out more research. Mm -hmm. Research. Research. Okay. okay, research. Thank you. Let's see, Rosa de Los Angeles, please. The next one, take over. Take over, what's the meaning? Take over. Uh, to accept, to take control of something. Example, I intend that to show take over the business. Okay, so take uh, over to accept, right? I intend that you shall take over the business. Okay, uh, the next one, take, uh, okay, so I mean, uh, may I may stay with this one. Okay, so take on, take on. Let's see, volunteer for that one. Nil Nilton. Yeah. Nilton? Mire, eh, to ask a new employee to hear. Example, sí. she was day of us training. Training, okay. Meaning to accept a new employees or to hire someone. So she was taken on as a trainee. Okay. So when you hire someone, uh, let's see the next one. Lay off. Lay off, please, um, lady. Meaning to the miss employees from their jobs. Okay. Example: two hundred, two hundred workers 
Uh, the factory have been laid off. Mm -hmm. Laid off, right? So dismiss. So you fire them, right? So then you dismiss. I don't need your uh, you to work to continue working at a place, right? So you dismiss people or employees in a company. Knuckle down, knuckle down, please, Rafael. Okay, knuckle down. Meaning to stop being distracted and to focus on work. Mm -hmm. so it's time with knuckle, knuckle down. Knuckle, mm -hmm. down. knuckle, knuckle, knuckle. knuckle. Mm -hmm. to stop being distracted, right? And to focus on work. So you start working harder for the company. So it's time we knuckle down. It's time we knuckle down here in the class, right? And let's see the next one, hand in, please. Um, Julio, Julio Guillon. The meaning is to, su to submit. Submit, to okay. Mm -hmm. Submit to deliver work. Sample. He's already hand in this report. Mm -hmm. So to submit, to present someone, to give someone something, right? To someone, to deliver work. He's already handed in his report. Um, let's see the next one, please. Uh, knock off. Knock off, please uh, help us with this one, Oscar. Okay, meeting stop work. Example, let's know of early tonight. Mm -hmm. Stop work, right? Let's knock off early tonight. And Blanca, please help us with the last one. Call, call off. Call off. Meeting to cancel an event. Uh -huh. example, example, they have called off the meeting. Okay, called off the meeting, called off the meeting. Okay, so now let's practice. Um, Please, uh, carry out. So listen that and repeat that with me. Carry out. Carry out. Take over, take over, take on, take on, take on, on. Take on. Lay, off. Lay, lay off, lay off, lay off, lay off, the present teacher, knuckle down, knuckle down, knuckle down, knuckle down. down. Okay. okay, thank you, Blanca. Knuckle down and hand in. Hand in. Hand in. Hand in. Hand in. Hand in. Knock off. Knock, 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 knock off. off. Knock off. Call off. Call off. Call off. Call off. Call off. Okay. So now let's continue. We're going to check some more vocabulary. So take a screenshot. And with this one, remember that you have to do the match with this one, right? Carry, carry it's the first one. Take the second one. Uh, well, we have take on. That's the third one, right? Lay, so you're going to move one space, okay? But that's, um, well, the definitions are this one. Okay, so we also have some more vocabulary and look at this. So probably you do some of these activities at the work store, what's the meaning? Um, let's see, can you read the example, uh, Carlos, Miguel? Store. Read the example, Carlos. Hello, hello. Guys, can you hear me? Mm, I don't know what happened with him. Um, okay, Oscar, can you read the example? Store? Okay. I store package. Packages. Okay, packages. Packages. Okay, store. So what's the meaning? What do you think about that? Store. What's the meaning? Any idea? I store packages. Any idea? Store? Tienda. Mm, as a, well, that's as a noun. How about as a verb? I store packages. No. Mm. Store has a verb. It's a verb. Yes, it can also be a verb. I store, let's say, products, for example. I store boxes. I store, let's say, a raw material. 
Ay, no te vaya, no te vaya a golpear. What's mean? Ajá, Marlene. ¿Qué significa en español? Yo lo conocía como la, la traducción de la palabra tienda. Ajá, almacenar. I store packages. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Let's see the second one. Pile up. Pile up. Uh, can you read the example, uh, Rosa? Uh, example, I pile up files. Okay, uh, any idea? Pile up files. Any idea about these guys? Pile up? No Sí, Oscar, Carlos, eh, Rafael. Ordenar, creo. Como uno so, o sobre Pilar. otro. Ajá. Ajá. Pile up files. No, a montón. Pile up files. Or you organize. Uh, okay. Buy. So that's clear, right? I buy. Yeah. Products. Products. How about signs? Comprar. Ajá. Yes. Buy. Comprar. How about sign? Sign number four. I yeah. sign contracts. What's that? Firmar. 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 Firmar right? Do you sign contracts? Yes. I'm looking for a job. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Design. I'm going to send you my resume. Let's see. Design. Design. What's the meaning with design? New models. New models. Mm -hmm. Diseño. Diseñar. Mm -hmm. Diseñar. Sell. Do you sell, guys, at work? Vender. Yes, I am. Vender. Okay. Yes, I do. She sells yes, some devices, right? Devices. How about what's the meaning for device? Devices? A smartphone, radio. Work. I work. Um, work. I work. Trabajo. Work until late. Until late. Hasta tarde. Uh -huh. Do you work until late? Yes. 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 And um, the verb bring. They bring okay. the materials. Uh, until. Hasta. 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 Trabajo hasta tarde. Más o menos. You work until. until late. And you study until late. It's 9.37. So you, you study until late. And let's see, take. They take everything to the warehouse. So what's the meaning? Warehouse? Any idea? Warehouse? Bodega. La bodega. Okay, perfect. You got it. So now let's practice. Store. Store. Pile up. Pile up. Pile up. Pile up. Bye. Bye. Sign. No. Sign. Design. 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 Work. 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 Listen, it's not for go. Work. 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 I'm going to uh, play the audio so you can listen to that. Okay? It's not. Listen. In. Let me know if you listen to that. I'm going to play it in a second. Hold on. So I want you to listen to that word. Okay. Work. 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 Not an Work. old as we sometimes make that mistake. Listen Work. Up. Work. 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 Awesome. Now let's continue. Okay, so we're going to talk about this in today's class. Uh, we're going to learn how to express obligations. Um, look at this. I'll need somebody to help me reading with this information. Something. Uh, let's see. I need a lady. Um, how about you? Let's see. So I get confused because I have double names. Let's see. How are you, Fernando? Help, help us, please. Something you need? Something you need to do following our 
Mm -hmm. The structure is have has to um, plus, plus plus base plus base four on the verb. Examples. You have to school. Mm -hmm. You have they to have, go to school. Continue. You have to go to a school. They have to clean the house. He has to see the doctor. You have to drive slower than 110 kilometers, kilometers per uh, hour kilometers. Mm -hmm. on, on highways. Highways, okay, continue. What have you to say for yourself? Okay. You have to wear uniform in class. My brother has to drink milk before going to bed. Bed, bed. Bed. Okay, nice. <clears throat> so we're going to use this verb in order to express obligations. Uh, look huh? at this. We have the negatives. Huh? Yes? Questions? Okay, let's see. Um, lady, can you help us with the second side here? Second part? <laughs> Something which is not necessary. A structure don't, doesn't have to plus bus form on the verb. Okay. Example, you don't have to come to school on Sundays. We don't have to watch this movie. She doesn't have to learn your language. They they don't have to wear a suit. He doesn't have to take the exam. You didn't have to work for salary. We don't have to buy an egg. Okay, so look at this. We have to correct this word. That's a where, right? Where? So correct that. Um, so basically what we are going to study is um learning how to express that obligations you see the very have to and has to so question uh, tell me what are some activities that you normally have to do for example uh, i have to clean my room every day how about you daily okay so what's something that you have to do Daily. Carlos. I have to drive to my job every day. I have to, Julio? To drive. To drive. Okay, you have to drive to work. How about you, Marlene? I have to cook or cooking. Okay. Cook. Okay. Do you like to cook? Yes. Excellent. And I have two two daughters and a husband. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. I have to. Okay. I have to. <laughs> okay. Nice. Let's see. So now, talk to me about some activities that you have to do at work. For example, I have to pile up documents. I don't have, but you probably have too. So tell me, Carmen. Carmen, so what do you have to do at work? Back to your microphone. Rafael, Oscar, Nilton, Lady, Fernando, we have a lot of people, come on. Let's see, give me examples. So what do you do at work? So what do you have to do? I What's have up? to read. The document. Okay. I the have to write reports. Okay, you have to write reports. How about you, Carlos? Any activity that you have to do? I have to play soccer. You have at work. Ah, at work. Mm. Uh -huh. I have to teach class. Oh, are you a teacher? 
Yes, I do. Okay, you have to teach. How about you, Isabel? No, where is Isabel? Me? Yes, Isabel, tell me, what is one activity that you do at work? I I have I have two sign contract. Okay, sign, 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 sign contracts. Okay, nice. And what is a, an activity that you don't have to do, guys? Something not necessary. So, what is something not necessary at work? I don't have two. Tell me. I don't have to uh, drink coffee every day. Okay. How about you? Let's see, uh, Rosa. I don't have to clean my office. You don't have to clean your office. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Milton, Rafael. I don't have to play. It. You don't or, have to play. Or, or, well, or work. at work. Mm, okay. Well, but that's not part of your job. I don't, I don't have to listen to music. You don't have to listen to music. Well, since that's not part of your job, uh, I... so you shouldn't, right? No debe, right? Oh. No debe. So you shouldn't. Okay. So now let's continue. We're going to check some more examples. And hold on. Okay, uh, let me know if you can see that worship. So I'm sending you the um, link. Okay, so now let's read it again. Um, Carlos, please help us with this information here. Yo, el otro Carlos. Well, Carlos. Miguel Argueta. I, I have to do something. Carlos Argueta. Okay. Okay. How to, don't have to. How to use, to use it. Hmm? You have to when you think it is necessary to do something or are obligated. To do it. To do, to do it. In negative sentences, it means it is not necessary to do it. To do, to it. do it. Okay. So it point. means, mm -hmm. okay, so just give me one second. So remember, it means have to, tengo que, una obligación. So your rule to do that. Es una regla. So you're obliged to. Um, continue with examples. Example. I have to do my homework. You don't have to work tomorrow. Okay. Sandra has to go to the dentist. Dentist. Okay. She dentist. doesn't. Dentist. She doesn't have to go now. No. Okay. Now. Okay. So when you go here, when you go to doctor uh, office, so we say you have to go to the dentist. So it's not necessary to the office or clinic. So you only say, I have to go to the dentist, okay? And let's see. So we have the three structures, affirmative sentences, I, you, we, they have to work, and he, she, it, remember that that's third person has to. So I don't know, do you have any question about it? 
So remember, when you have he, she in an affirmative sentence, you have to use has to, right? Yes. Do you agree? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Negative sentences. So what is the structure? Please help me with this uh, information. Um, Oscar, Oscar, please. Negative. Ah, estaba haciendo la captura de pantalla. <laughs> okay, negative, negative sentences. Use it done of doesn't or doesn't. Don't, I, doesn't, doesn't. 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 Okay. Doesn't. I, you, we, they don't have to work. Okay. He, she, it. Doesn't how to walk. Work. work. Doesn't. Work. Doesn't. Okay, Doesn't. nice. So look at this. Uh, we're using that contraction. So what is the long form? Do not and does not, right? So that's the meaning for these contractions. Don't equal, oh well, do not equal don't, right? Does not equal doesn't. Okay. So how about the questions, please, Julio? Questions. How do we form the questions? Here. Mm, Interrogative sentences. Use the word do or doesn't. Do I uh, you we they have to work? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does he, she, it? have to work yes he does no he doesn't okay excellent let's see double uh, by the way i have a question how about i'm going to show you an example so tell me if, if that is correct does she have to work on sundays is it correct Yes. Which one is correct? Number one or number two? Number two. Number two. Number one. She has to work number on number Sunday. Two. Number two. But look at this. Look at the structures. Do I, you, we, they have two questions? Does he, she, it have two? So in questions, you have to use the base form. It doesn't matter if that is third person, okay? Yes. Does she have to work on Sundays? Is it clear? Yes. More examples? Yeah. Okay. Do you work? Does she work? Well, let me modify that with the bird have. Okay, again, the same question. Do you have, well, we have, do you have to work? Is it correct? <clears throat> check it, check it with the information you have there. Do you have to work? Is it correct or incorrect? Guys? Correct. Hello? Correct. 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 Uh -huh. So check the subject. Check the subject of pronouns. Do you have to go to the meeting? Correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Okay. correct. How about, does he has to visit the clients? Correct or incorrect? Correct. Incorrect. 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 Okay. Incorrect. And the next one, does he have to visit the clients? Correct. 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 Uh -huh. 
Okay, uh, that's correct. So just remember yeah. that when you're making questions, so you forget everything about third person, okay? In this case. Questions, is it clear? Okay. Double H questions. Can you help us with that information, please? Um, let's see, we need a volunteer. Let's see, lady, lady, help us, please. Have to work. What do you do have to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I have to work. What does she have to do tonight? To do tonight? She has, has to do her homework. Okay. So what's the structure for double H questions? So we have double H word plus auxiliary plus what else? So what follows? Subject pronoun, right? Subject pronoun and verb. So in this case, have two, right? In this case, have two. We're studying that. And the question mark. So that is the structure that we're going to follow. Example, word, do you have to go tomorrow? Where do you have to go tomorrow? Guys, where do you have to go tomorrow? You're a big two. I have to oh. work. I have to yes. go to work. I okay. have to work. I have to go to the dentist. Oh. Uh huh. Dentist. For example. Okay. Next question. What does Carlos? Okay. Question. Have to or has to? Does Carlos have or has to do tomorrow? So I, what is correct? I have. Okay. Have, have, right? Have to. Have, have to. Okay, excellent. So what does uh, Carlos person. have to do tomorrow? Um, I have to go to work. To work. And how about Carlos? What does he have to do? Ah, Carlos, he has to, no, Carlos has to um, go to work. Go to work, perfect. What okay. else? Well, that's okay, that's clear. Okay, nice. Any question, guys? Any question about it? Preguntas, chicos? Ahí solo hay que practicar para tenerlo bien claro. Yes. Eh, please send you a screenshot for uh -huh. WhatsApp group, please. Okay. So now it's time to practice. I send you the link. So let's start uh, working on it. And we're going to do it together. I send you the link. Did you get the link? I sent it through the uh, meetings chat. So check the meeting chat. Let's see, number one, volunteer. Number one, who wants to try? Mary can go to the cinema. She have to, don't have to, has to, or doesn't have to. Look after her sister tonight. Has and has, has to. to. Okay, has to. Okay, let's see. Can you read it? Uh, can you read the full sent question? Well, sentence. <laughs> Mary can't go to the cinema. She has to look after her sister tonight. Okay, perfect. Carmen, uh, let's see, Carmen, Elena, number two, my parents can go. My parents can go to Italy. Italy. 
have to work has to the work to tomorrow okay they have to work this summer this summer let's see i'm going to write a table here uh, yeah. remember he she it has to right <laughs> Okay, are you with they? So what's the form that we need to use? Have to, okay. Okay, number three, um, volunteer, number three. Have my, to. Friends. my friends have to get up. My friends have to get up early tomorrow because it's Sunday. So read the context. Read the context. Read the context. My friends have to get up early tomorrow because it's Sunday. Doesn't have to. Mm, my friends doesn't have to. They have to. Uh, they don't have to. Don't okay. have to. Don't have to. Okay, perfect. They don't have to get up early tomorrow because it's Sunday. Caroline. Volunteer. Caroline have to the clean her car today because it's raining. Don't mm -hmm. have to. Right. Don't. Doesn't. Ah, okay. Doesn't. have to. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's important. Remember, you have to read a sentence twice when you um well in order to understand the context. Caroline doesn't have to clean the hair car today because it's raining. Of course, you won't clean the car, right? <laughs> but we never know. <laughs> Let's see, number five, children. Children don't have to. Children has to. Children, singular or plural? Children. Plural. Uh, children. Plural. Plural. plural, right? Yes. Children, children don't have to. Children have to. Don't, don't have to. Okay, they don't have to work. Don't have to. First, they have to go. No, doesn't have to. Okay, nice. Sorry, I can come tomorrow. I have to go to the doctor. Go to the doctors. Doctors. Peter. Seven. Peter have to. Peter has to have to read a a a blog because it's literature. 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 Okay, number eight. That woman. The woman. Um, the woman has to has to carry, carry all, the, all of the bags. Her husband can help here. Mm, okay. Awesome. Husband can help here. So what do you think? Has to or don't have uh, to? Don't have. To. Or doesn't have to. Doesn't. Doesn't have to. Do you play him? Doesn't. Have to carry those bags. Number nine. What do you think? You. You have. You have. Okay. To get. To get up early tomorrow. Early tomorrow, if you want to be there, Okay. Number ten. My father is. He has to travel. He has. Has to. Okay. He has to travel a lot. Manager. He has to travel a lot. Eleven. You. You have to. Okay. You have to. Do, do the, the iron. 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 I love okay. it. I love it. I do it. You know. Okay. Do you love ironing? Ironing. Ironing. You love it. 
Yes, no. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Teresa. So what do you think, Teresa? Teresa the doing. Teresa don't have to see very well. So she does. Did you wear? Okay, so she doesn't have to wear glasses. Very good. Are you are you filling up uh, that information? Are you filling the um, yes? Yes. Uh, in the exercise uh, twelve, doesn't has or doesn't have. Doesn't have. So let's go back to this. Look at this. Uh, negatives. Are you with they? Don't have to and. Oh yeah. Look at this. He, she, it doesn't. So the only thing that you modify is this, the auxiliary verb, but not the base uh, form, not the verb. Mm -hmm. You only modify the auxiliary verb. Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. So now let's continue. Are you completing that with me? Yes, do you open the link? Let's see, exercise so two. Has has to wash the car. <laughs> okay, so make sentences. Explain what Lisa and team have to or don't have to do. So tell me about, um, let's see, Lisa activities. So what does, uh, what does she have to do, Lisa? So what does she have to do? Make a cake. She has to make, make a, cake. a cake. How about, let's see, in number two, do the homework. Yes. Lisa or Tom? And Both. Tom. Lisa and Tom. Have to. Two. Lisa and Tom have to have do to what? Do the homework. Okay. The next one, number three, wash the car. Who has to wash the car? Tom. 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 What does he have to do? He has, he has, to, be, he has, he to, has to wash the car. He has to wash the car. How about, let's see, number four, walk the dog. Lisa. Lisa. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, right? Lisa has to do it. How about study history? Study history? Tom. 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 Tom has to study history. Number six, set the table. Nobody. Nobody. They don't have to set the table. What's the meaning for set the table? Lisa Tom has. Set the table. Any idea? Table. Poner. La mesa. Uh -huh. mesa. Okay. Seven, cut the grass. Who has to cut um, the grass? Um, Tom. Okay. Tom and tidy has... the bedroom. The bow. Both. Both. Both of them. They have to tidy their bedroom. Okay. Okay. Again, listen, Tom. Have, have to or has to? Have to. Have to. Have to. Have okay. To. Tom. Has, has to. Has to. Okay. Lisa. Has, has, to. has, to. has to. Okay. Tom. Has to. Has to. Has to. Okay. Lisa and Pero Tom. Pero Tom no iba a caminar con el perro, yeah. solo Lisa. Had to. to. Ah, okay. Let's see. Tom has oh, to. Yes, you're right. You're right. Don't have, have to. So it's this one, right? Oh, yes, this one. Tom, so what's the answer? Don't has. Okay, doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't, have, doesn't have, have to. Have to. What the dog? Okay, how about, let's see, uh, Lisa, how about this one? Doesn't have to. Okay. Tom. Has 
Tom, look at this. Tom, uh, study history. Has study to. history. Has to. Has, has to. Has to, right? Listen, Tom. Doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't have doesn't. to. Doesn't. doesn't have to. You yes. sure? Are you sure, guys? Don't yes. Read the I sentence don't again. Have. Oh, no. Don't have. Okay. Don't, don't, don't have don't to. Have. Why? Don't have, have to. Plural. Plural. Plural subject, right? Listen, Tom. They, they don't have to. Lisa, let's go Lisa. Don't have to. Lisa, okay. Doesn't have to yeah. cut the grass. Lisa, watch the car. Mm, no. Doesn't have to. No. Doesn't have to. Lisa, okay. Doesn't Don't have to. Has. Doesn't have to. Tom. <laughs> Yes. Have to, have to. Has, has to. to. Has to, right? Excellent. Tom, make a cake. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to make a cake. Tom, tidy the bedroom. Has to. Have to. Has to. Has to. And Lisa? Has to. Has to. Has to. Okay, nice. Um, let's see, we have to match the pictures, but I don't know where. Okay, so let's match the pictures. Mm, the first one, walk the dog. Number? So what number is that one? Picture one, match the pictures to the activities. Four. 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 Number picture two. Picture two? Six. Five. 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 Mm. Picture. One. 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 Okay. Picture no, no, three? No. Picture three. One. Eight. Wow. How about this one? Okay. One. One. Picture two. One. Is one. Picture two. Is four. Five. Two. Okay. Picture uh, four. Six. Picture six. Two. Six. <laughs> Picture. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about this one? Number four. Uh, TDV eight. Ah, okay, eight. that's the number mm -hmm. eight. How about the next picture? Five. Uh, number three. 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 Three, okay. Three. Six. 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 Ah, six, okay. Two. The team. Wash the car, do the homework. Dog studies at the table. Picture two. Picture two. Is picture two. Picture two is two. 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 Okay. And how about this one? Number three. 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 Mm, okay. How about six. this one? Six. Six. Set deck tape. And this one? Five. 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 Okay. And the last Seven. one? Seven. 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 Okay. okay, did you all do it? You all did it? So did you did it, uh, guys? Mm -hmm. So did you complete that with me? Okay, so send me your results. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to check. <laughs> so send me your results. Let's check that. Um. Okay, let's see. That woman. Ah, okay. So we miss. What do we miss in this one? Yeah. You, right? You. You don't write on. You has. Um, mm -hmm. So has, it was. Has. Has. No. Uh, Look at this. You. Do the irony. I'll do it for you. Uh, you yeah. learn it for me. So it was. Negative. Negative. You. Uh -huh. no. So the answer no, is uh, 
have you don't, don't have, have to. to. You don't have to. So yeah. I'll do it for you. Don't worry. How about this one? Teresa can see very well. So she. Teresa can be. Uh, we are has to. to. Has has to. to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, uh, mm -hmm. So she has to wear glasses. She can't see. No puede ver muy bien. Así que tiene que usar glasses. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So she has to wear glasses. Okay. So I think that's that's all that we have in this one. So we got a nine. So we have to improve that. Thank you, guys. San, <laughs> San, it. Yes, probably. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So now let's go back to the presentation and let's continue. We're going to discuss some activities. Okay, so can you see the pictures? Well, the presentation. Next preparation. Okay, so think about some obligations for the following pictures. And you tell me what are some of the activities that you think they have to do. Picture one. Tell me. He has to. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. Uh -huh. He's a doctor. So what does he have to do? He has attend to the patient. No, okay. He has to, to attend to the He has to care. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 He has to take care of patients. What else? Prescribe. Okay. Prescribe what? Medicine. Medicine, okay. Okay, the next picture. What do you think about this one? Look at this. Uh, oops. Okay, so what's her occupation? What do you think about her? Section. She has to oh, secretary. secretary. Uh -huh. She's a secretary. Reception. She has reception. Okay, she has to receive calls. What else? She has to, she has to call. She has to attend consultants. Okay. She has to. She has to. She has to bring uh, the coffee to. She has to check the report. Documents. Okay, she has to check reports, documents. She sends emails. How about the following picture? What do you think about him? He <laughs> has to law order. Okay. What else? He has to arrest people. <laughs> Thirty dollars. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. The next one. Look at this one. What's her occupation? What does she have to do? She has to cook. She has to cook. She has to cook. What else? She has does she have to write she reports? Has, she has to prepare the cake. Mm -hmm. She has to make a bake a cake. And do you think that she has to, let's say, pile up documents? No. No, she no, doesn't. She doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does she have to send emails to the customers? No, she doesn't. Hey, she has to. Huh? She has to. Bake cakes and cook and decorate the cakes. Do you love cakes? Yes, no. Okay, next one. Look at this. Think about three activities that you have to do in order to make your dreams come true. 
tell me what are some of your dreams? So what do you have to do in order to, uh, in order to achieve them? Do you have to study? Do you have to work? Or do you have to overwork? I have to, uh, have to plan it and vacation. Uh, Oscar, tell us. I have two. I have two planning home for vacation. Vacation. Okay, so you have to plan. 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 Uh -huh. What else? Uh, I let's see. Travel. I have to travel. Uh, you have to travel. Okay. What else? I have to learn English. You have to learn English, a new language, right? So it opens doors. Okay. You have to study harder, right? So what else? Let's see. I'm going to ask uh, Carlos. Let's see. Carlos I have to check. Okay. Passport. You have to check the passports. So look, at the, look at the prompt. Think about three activities you have to do in order to make your dreams come true. Write your um, sentences through the chat. I want to check that. So I, write have to, I have to buy my house. Excellent. So that's I good. have to speak in, in speak in English. You have to speak English. Very good. What else? I have to go my home. So you have to go home. Why? <laughs> or bye? After war. Mm, okay. <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> Let's see. Nilton, how about you, Nilton? Oscar? Juan? Let's see. Juan is again. Fernando? Turn on your cameras, guys. Uh, Diana? Fernando? Let's see. Um, yes, tell us. So what do you have to do in order to make your dreams come true? If you want to travel, you have to learn a new language. Uh, I have to work. You have to work, okay. So probably you have to earn extra money. Uh, Rosa, what do you have to do? I <clears throat> Yes. What, what do they do? What do they do? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, Rosa, can you repeat it? Carmen, Elena? I have to speak English. You have to speak what? English, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, Rosa, thank you. Okay, so now I let's... To, I have to run on weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to do it too. Okay, nice. <clears throat> The question, important question, what do you have to do in order to learn a new language or a language? English, right? Tell me, give, give some tips to your classmates. So what do you have to do in order to learn a language? Tell me, tell me about your brother How to practice. practice. Yeah, you have to practice. What else? Oh, what that's to do. Uh -huh. I, I have, have to read, read the poetry in English. Project right now. Okay, I have to read, 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 read and write. Read and write. Okay. What else? I have listened to what an interesting family. Can I listen to music in English? Let's see what else. Academy. She's not working in the I have to see movie. Yes, probably. Yeah, it's that's good. Amazon. To watch movies. Carmen, Carmen, continue. I have to discipline. Okay, okay, you have to have the discipline. Tell me, tell me. Okay, thank you guys. Let's see. Let's see what's next. So we have some more questions. So right now, look at this. My sister works for the government. What are some activities that you have to do when you are at work? I'm not so. Basic. 
in background. Ahora sí, ya. Look at this. Uh, what are some activities that you have to do when you are at work? So you may use some of the verbs that you already learned and ask these questions to your classmates. So this is the main question. But here you have some more ideas. For example, Carlos, what do you have to do when you're at work? I mentioned two activities. Um, teach, mm -hmm. uh, teach my class, is the, the write and read reports. Okay, I have to teach my class and I have to I have read. to read and write reports. To read and write reports. Uh, I I have to send emails. Mm -hmm. So in addition, you have to send emails and write reports. So I forgot it. Okay. So this is the way in which I want you to answer that questions, right? So questions, uh, beside that, do you work inside or outside? Do you get a big salary? Do you have to work at night? Guys, do you have to work at night? Yes, teacher. Yes, oh, are you working right now? Online? I work at the call center. I'm at a call center, okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, right. Look at this. So I want you to work with your classmates and answer these questions besides this one, right? So what are some activities that you have to do when you're at work? Mention at least three activities or more and answer these questions, but it's going to be uh, speaking, okay? So I'm going to pick uh, the teams, the breakout rooms, you're going to work with the classmate. Questions about the activity. Any question about the activity? Let's see, Julio, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to discuss the, mm -hmm. the, the question. question with the group. Okay, okay perfect. Thank you. So please take a screenshot, take a screenshot. You're ready, let me know when you're ready. Do you get the screenshot? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. So remember that you have the option to share it. Le voy a habilitar ahí la opción para que ustedes puedan compartir también. Okay, so let's join the breakout rooms, guys. So we're going to have about a five minutes. Five to seven minutes, okay? So let's go. See you in, in some minutes. Julio, hola Julio. Okay.
Vaya, Sí, porque tiene algo malito la niña. Se le traba. Espera, me voy a... Se lo muevo. Tiene la imagen para compartirlo. Sí. Ahorita... En el chat. En el chat. Ah, ya siento que se me cierra. Estoy viendo ahorita la... Para que comparta la imagen. Para... Sí, me está abriendo el chat. Hay minutes. De casi. Ya. Oh. Hello, hello, Rosa. Are you alone? ¿Estás solita? Ok, bien, bien. Ahorita la voy a enviar con otra compañera. Sí, que ya me comentó que va a estar de bien. Ok. Aquí estoy yo, teacher. Aquí está. No les escuchaba. Pero aquí estoy. Ok. Just discuss the questions. Teacher, me frescar un poquito qué es lo que tenemos que hacer. Porque Eso me lo vamos un poco a discutir. Perdido. Ah, sí. Solo vamos a discutir esas preguntas. Eh, principalmente la que está ahí en, eh, marcada, la primera. Eh, what are some activities that you have to do when you are at work? Y las demás, pues, son adicionales. Yo quiero que compartan las actividades que ustedes hacen en el trabajo. Pueden utilizar algunos de los verbos que estudiamos al principio. Para mencionar algunas actividades o pueden agregar algunas otras. Okay. ¿Sí? Ajá. Ah, ya le entendí. Vale. Gracias, teacher. Ok. I have to uh -huh. <ríe> no sé cómo decirlo pero es término medio 
espero que podrías utilizar yeah, I, Yes, I have a big salary o no, I have a big salary. Mm, yes, I have. No, yes, I do or no, I don't. Recuerden que estas son eh, yes, no ¿Qué? questions. Pero pueden agregar información adicional, no quiero contar. Entonces, teacher, no es obligación <risa> utilizar el have to en, para la respuesta. En esta sí, en la primera. What are some activities that you have to do when you're at work? Porque es una double H question. En esa sí, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. dar una respuesta de, inform, informando lo que hacen. En, ah, otra, okay. ajá, en estas otras solo pueden decir yes or no. Y después, si ustedes gustan, si sí pueden agregar más información, ¿verdad? Pero eso ah, ya, okay. ya es aparte de la respuesta. Perfect, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Oh. Thank you. Entonces, yes, you have to, voy a poner. Okay. And number three, three. Uh, do you have a war at night? Mm, I don't. Okay. Yeah. I'm not done. Okay. Number four. Four. Do you drive? Yes, I drive. Number five. I work with a lot of people. I manage. Product, uh, production manager and I work with a lot of people around uh, uh, 120 people. You work in, 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 in package? In package. Uh, I work in Confecciones del Valle, American Textile Corporation. Okay. So a lot of people. And sometimes, like you, sometimes I, I like my job. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I sometimes. Oh my. I sometimes. <laughs> I sometimes. <laughs> like my job. Okay. Uh, did you finish? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So just let me check one group and uh, if you want to continue discussing about some other activities that you do, you, you can do it. I'm going to give you one more minute, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello, hello, ladies. Uh, well, Veronica and Carlos, is Carlos here? Hello, hello, oh, I'm here. Hello, hello. Did you discuss the questions? Uh, not yet. I think it's fine. Not yet. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, let's discuss that together. So tell me, guys, what are some activities that you have to do at, at work? Uh, Veronica? Do you work inside, Carlos? Uh, I... Yes, I I I have two inside. In okay, look at this. Uh, let me check. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, I do. I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do you get okay. a big salary? Um, do you get a big salary? Um, um no, no. I don't. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but you have to get one, okay? Okay. Do you have to work at, at night, Carl? No, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. Do you drive? Uh, yes, I yes I do. Do you get out of there? Uh, yes, I do. Do you get many holidays? Yes, I do. Yes. I get many holidays. Do you have to wear a uniform for your job? Um, yes. No, no, I don't.
Okay, welcome back, guys. So now let's continue. We're going to continue with the conversation and we're going to practice it with um, your classmates, right? Let's see. I want you to listen up and then you repeat that with me, okay? So work with a partner to read the conversation, then switch roles and read it again. So can you see the conversation? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so listen up. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Okay. We're done. Okay, so let's continue with the second one. Where does he have to store the boxes? Father and mother. Boxes. Boxes. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, let's see, I'll need two volunteers. Two volunteers. I need uh, Aaron and Sam. Yeah. Okay. Who? Hi, hey, teacher. Yes. Carmen? Okay. Yes, uh, Sam. Okay, you're Sam and Julio, you're Aaron. Yes. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the books? Boxes. The boxes. He and Ivan have to store, have store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the, the lift? Mm -hmm. They have to use the lift, but us and tell the secretary first. She is going to decide they can use it. They I am going to tell Max and even when they have to do. Okay, nice. Thank you guys. Again, so listen up and uh, try to um, pay attention to that. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store the, them in the warehouse. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. Secretary, secretary, or secretary, or secretary. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Let's see, two more participants. Um, okay, Oscar, somebody else? Hi, teacher. Okay, Nilton. Okay, one, two, three. The new materials just arrived in the morning. 
tell Max that uh, he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and I, Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the feet, the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan that they have to do. Okay, so again, back again, I'm going to give you some time so you can work with a classmate and practice the conversation. I'm going to share the conversation for you. Just join the breakout rooms, okay? So join the breakout rooms, please.
Okay, how was it? Do you have enough time to practice, guys? Yes, tell me. Yes, practice. Yes. Excellent. So look at this. Uh, we're going to finish the world. I'll try to do it, but I don't know. Well, let me show something to you. Okay, here. Okay, so just to finish, we're going to have a listening practice, and I want you to take notes of these questions, okay? <sighs> Uh, lady, can you read the questions? Yes. What does Susan have to do on Saturday morning? Where does Susan have to go at um, 12.30? 12.30. What time is Susan meeting with Yuli? Okay, perfect. What will Susan do after? Mm -hmm. What will Susan do after she cooks dinner? Okay, excellent. So take notes of that questions and update the audio. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. So besides that, I'm going to send you the link so we can do it a little bit faster. So and if you can open that link, so open it. And we're going to work on that. Okay, so listen up. I'm going to play the audio and try to answer that questions. Okay, ready? Or you can open the link. So that's up to you. So let me know, are you ready, guys? Ready? Yes. OK, perfect. So here we go. So Susan, do you have anything planned for this Saturday? Uh, I'm kind of busy. Why do you ask? Oh, I was wondering if you'd like to get together and do something, like catch a movie or take a walk down by the lake. I'd love to, but I'm really going to be busy all day on Saturday. What do you have going on that day? First, my mom asked me to help clean the house in the morning, and then I have a dentist appointment at 12.30. I can't miss that because I've canceled twice before. Well, what about after that? Well, I'm going to be running around all day. After the dentist appointment, I need to meet Julie at 2 o'clock to help her with her science project that's due on Monday morning at school. Okay, but are you free after that? Hardly. Then, I have to pick up my brother from soccer practice at 4.30, and my mom asked me to cook dinner for the family at 5.30. I feel like a slave sometimes. <laughs> then, I have to clean the dishes and finish reading my history assignment. Who knows how long that'll take. Wow, sounds like you're going to have a full day. Hey, listen, why don't I come over later in the evening and we can make some popcorn and watch a movie? Oh, that'd be great, but our TV's broken. Ugh. Well, let's just play a game or something. Sounds good, but give me a call before you come. My mom might try to come up with something else for me to do. <laughs> okay, so you want to listen to that again? The first is clean the house. Clean the house, okay. So let's check that one, correct. How about number two? Where does Susan have to go at 12.30, guys? To, to the dentist. To the dentist. Let's see, somebody else. What time is Susan meeting with Julie? At 2 p.m. 2 p.m. 2 p.m., okay. What will Susan do after she cooks dinner? Clean the dishes. dishes. Clean the dishes. Okay. 
And why can they watch a video at Susan's house? The TV and working. Working. Okay. Very good. So do you think that she wants to uh, <laughs> go on a date with him? No, right? She doesn't want to. Okay. Very fast. I go my. I go sleep. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, she she wants to avoid that date. And look at this. Um. Well, just uh, this is a reminder for you to work on this. Bien, nada más acá un recordatorio en la plataforma. Mm -hmm. Recuerden que para ingresar a la plataforma van a ingresar al siguiente enlace. Es el que les acabo de compartir en el chat de Zoom. Y acá van a hacer clic en Sign In, aquí. ¿Te ves? Acá. Ingresan su correo. Recuerden que si es primera vez tienen que verificar la cuenta. Hay que verificar la cuenta. Para que les envíen un código a su correo y ustedes de, nada más hagan ahí la verificación. Van a hacer clic sobre el módulo 4. Y ahí van a contestar todas las actividades. Entonces estaban por secciones. Bueno, sección, eh, sección 1. Sección 1. Purchasing and Story. My questions and you have to start working on uh, homework number one. ¿Cuántos ya terminaron la tarea uno? Yes. Tarea uno. Este día tenemos que completar la tarea número dos. Yes. Las pueden ver ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. De hecho, vamos a empezar a, a revisarla, pero eh, nada más eh, la solicitud es que ingresen y era la tarea uno y dos. Y la uno yes. no la he completado. Sí, acá sí, está el video sí. también de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer sí. y acaba de aparecer el que acabado este video. Sí, Dígame. Sí. Eh, eh, yo ya estuve viendo esos videos y el mismo, el primero, en todas las demás. No sé si revisó usted el material antes de, de que se hubiera cargado en la plataforma. Y la misma conversación. El, bueno, veamos. Yes. Sí. Vamos a ver. No. no, acá está ya. Hoy sí, ya está. Quizás no aparecía porque... Ah. Eso, bueno, lo subí en la noche, como a las 11. Pero acá ya me aparece. Te podemos hacer, eh, si recuerdo que acá solo carga cierto tiempo, ya ha pasado. Entonces haga clic sobre el, el título, un poquito largo, pero solo haga clic sobre el título para que lo dirija a YouTube. Entonces ahí lo va a poder ver completo. Va a poder ir ahí eligiendo las partes que, que quiere reforzar. Ok. Okay, so that's all for today. Just let me pass the attendance list and we're done. Okay, how do you feel today, guys? ¿Cómo se sintieron, no, chicos? ¿Ya tienen sueño? Tired. 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 <laughs> Más doblemente cansada. Sí. Ah, qué mal. Ok. Ok, uh, just help me with uh, saying present. Uh, Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Verónica Hernández. Present me. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Okay. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lowe. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Argueta Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present. Thank you. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank no, you. no le llave el micrófono. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It happens. Let's see. Jorge Luis Castaneda Martínez.
Ok. Eh, Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemus. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joana Hernández. Present. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. You're falling asleep. Rosa de Los Angeles. Enriquez. Rosa. Present, present. Thank you, Rosa. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Verónica Burgos. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Me parece que vi a Verónica en algún momento. No estoy. ¿Está Verónica por acá, chicos? Iba, iba en carro, parece. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, a haber perdido la señal. Yo la vi temprano, como a las siete y media, ya estaba conectada. Estaba probando la, sí, es la, sí. la conexión. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias, chicos. Bien, uh -huh. uh, nos quedamos este día con Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez para la. La sesión de 10 minutos y bueno, si alguien tenga dudas de la plataforma, quédese para el que le podamos ayudar o alguna pregunta que tenga, quédese. Ok. Thank you guys. So that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Please work on the assignments. Ingresen a la plataforma para empezar a trabajar ya esas actividades. Ok. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Verónica Hernández, sí, que está Verónica. Sí, aquí estoy. Muy bien. Vamos, también está Blanca. Eh, ¿Sí? Verónica, sí, me gustaría saber si tiene alguna pregunta, consulta. Eh, hola, hola, Miss. Este, con la parte del, del uso de... De la plataforma. Sí. Ah, ok, de acuerdo. Vaya, le voy, le voy a compartir el enlace. Pero una pregunta, antes de que, que nada, ¿recibió usted este, el, el usuario y la contraseña? Sí, 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 ah, todo vaya. eso ya. Perfecto. Entonces... Solo una consulta con, 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 la, con la plataforma. Este, siempre se va a mantener la parte de que para día viernes se tienen que completar ciertas actividades, digamos, las de la semana. Sí, sí siempre. Sí, siempre, porque como nosotros aparte de la institución siempre se envía un reporte a Insafor el día viernes ese es el, ese reporte entonces okay. bueno eh, respecto a la plataforma no sé si eh, tiene duda al, in, al ingresar o, o no en la primera en la primera actividad no he tenido tema tengo que ver la segunda porque voy por día verdad y es por el tema de los contables no contables esa es la primera actividad entonces todavía no la he hecho pero Sí, ya me queda claro que es lo que yo debo de realizar ahí con la primera. Ajá, sí, acá, eh, si quieres ver nuevamente el video o alguna parte, pues okay. acá está la tarea. Um, bueno, ya vamos a poner el, el material acá. Y acá está la dos. Sí, yo de okay. preferencia les digo que lo lleven así por tarea, ¿verdad? Aunque pueden ah, por ti, ah. Para que vayan viendo el, el tema también. Uh -huh, correcto, correcto. Al, eh, no sé si hay alguna otra pregunta respecto a... Bueno, lo que hemos visto hasta el momento. Este, con la parte, Miss, de, lo, de, lo, de este día, del uso de, de ¿cómo se llama? De, del Dozen en consulta y creo que Dozen Outdoor. Sí. Este, para, para, para la forma de question. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Ahora cuando estábamos desarrollando la evaluación, estábamos desarrollando, digamos, la actividad, ahí es donde yo me confundía cuándo debía de usarlo. Ok, bien, vamos a ver. Vamos aquí el ejercicio. Uh -huh. Más bien, vamos a mostrar la PPT. Vamos a ver más okay. fácil. Aquí le tomé screen también, por favor. Bueno, más bien, este, tomé bastante. Vamos a ver. 
Okay. Ah, ya lo encontré. <ríe> es como que uno pase aparte de la computadora. <ríe> Vaya. Veamos las preguntas. Ah, cabal ahí. Ah. Afirmate. La pregunta es acerca de eh, las preguntas. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo hacer? Correcto. La... Eh, nada más, eh, acá tengo que tener clara eh, dos cosas. Eh, los pronombres, a you y they, se utilizan uh -huh. la forma base de un verbo. La forma base es... Eh, uh -huh. Sí, sí. El have. Eh, ¿Sí? Es un verbo sin ninguna modificación. Uh -huh. eh, work, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Cuando utilizamos tercera persona... Singular, uh -huh. singular, he, she, he. porque esto es lo que a veces causa ese inconveniente. A veces confunde, ¿verdad? En este ¿Qué? caso, ustedes tienen que utilizar para el verbo have, nosotros vamos a utilizar has. Ajá, uh -huh. has, pero es un verbo irregular. Entonces, uh -huh. después, en las preguntas, bueno, las oraciones afirmativas serían I have. Word, siguiendo el mismo alineamiento de arriba. Ajá. En cualquier nombre de tercera persona, she has to work. Ah. Esto es en cuanto a las oraciones afirmativas. Ahora, las negativas. En las negativas, yo digo, I, digamos, un subject más plus auxiliary verb. Vamos a ver un poquito más claro ahí. Subject, auxiliary verb. Ese auxiliary verb depende, ¿verdad? Depende de qué sujeto está utilizando. Puede ser do o puede ser does. Más uh, plus the negative, right? Not. Plus have to. Entonces, esa es la estructura que yo voy a seguir. Damos otro ejemplo. You. Ok. Vamos a hacer por partes. You do not have to work. No tienes que trabajar. Ahora digamos que mi sujeto es una tercera persona. Puede ser él, puede ser he, she, it, right? El verbo auxiliar que utilizamos con tercera persona es does. Does not. Ahora vengo yo y agrego la forma base del verbo siempre. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que pasa acá? En las oraciones negativas, nosotros utilizamos un verbo auxiliar más la negación y la forma base del verbo. En este caso, no tenemos que de modificar el verbo. Solo sería acá si fuera una oración afirmativa. En las negativas, lo que usted va a cambiar o agregar más bien es el auxiliar. Depende de su sujeto. Por eso le comentaba eh, que tercera persona, he, she, it, has. Vaya, en este caso, vamos a poner acá para las negativas. He, she, it, dos. Y los demás, I, you, we, y they. Si se está viendo ahí eh, que estoy compartiendo, ¿verdad? Hola, hola. ¿Sí me escucha? Hola, Verónica. ¿Sí me escucha? Ah, es que no la escucho. Tenía sí, sí. Para, para el micrófono. Ah, en, uh -huh. este, en este caso, para las negativas... Nosotros utilizamos auxiliar lo mismo. Eh, das. das. Ajá. Ajá. Lo único que acá tiene que recordar que el dos ya va contractado. Does not equal dos. They don't. Um, do not. Y va contractado. O sea que si utilizo, o sea, a mí es que si utiliza el das, ya no puedo usar das en has, ¿verdad? Sino que es das en has. Uh -huh. El error de no caer. Entonces, en las negativas ya no tienen que hacer el cambio en el verbo, sino que lo que hace es el cambio en el auxiliar. En el auxiliar. 
Ajá, la correcto. Y el verbo se mantiene en su forma base. Correcto. Ahora okay. bien, en las preguntas es lo mismo. En las preguntas es bastante uh -huh. parecido a las oraciones negativas. En las preguntas empezamos, vamos, por ejemplo, teníamos acá. Ahí tenemos las yes, no questions, estas que están acá. Y tenemos double edge questions. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, la estructura, auxiliary verb, class, subject, ¿no? Uh -huh. Last and have to. Have to and a question mark. Okay, lo, que, lo que le queremos agregar. Uh -huh. Pregunta, por ejemplo, do we. El, voy, voy cambiando ahí el pronombre para que se vaya viendo con diferentes pronombres. Sí. Do we have to study? Ahora veamos otro ejemplo, otro auxiliar. Con tercera persona. Does she. O oh, acá recuerden que también pueden poner el nombre de la persona. Does Mary have to study? Uh -huh. sí. Y acá, por ejemplo, podríamos hacer un sujeto plural. Do Tom and Mary have to study? Uh -huh. have to study. Uh -huh. Acá tenemos un sujeto plural. Por lo tanto, utilizamos do. Uh -huh. okay. Mary. Ahora, um, estas se responden con un sí o con un no. ¿Te va a estar? Sí. Yes. Does Mary have to study? No. Eso, eso es lo mismo que está por acá. Um, ¿Sí? Yes, I do. No, he does. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. Correcto. Y con las double H questions, lo mismo. Um, oh. en, en este caso sería... Bueno, tenemos ahí la double H word, last. What does? Ajá. Podemos un verbo auxiliar. What does? Uh -huh. Ahora viene un sujeto, un subject. Complement. Verb and complement. Ajá. Have to, exacto. El have to en este caso, pero es lo que estamos viendo. Ahora, pero sí, sí, correcto. Um, and a, ahí le damos un verbo pronto. Ok. Por ejemplo, what do they have to um, pile up? Por ejemplo, what do they have to pile up? Documents. Y la única diferencia es que en la de arriba era una yes, no answer y acá es una information. Question. Entonces acá voy a dar una respuesta larga, por decir así, voy a contestar. A ver qué es lo que eh, son más, espe más eh, decir, específica. Están preguntando por... Eh, más detalle. Vamos a ver. Y tenemos eh, una pregunta con el auxiliar. Does. What does. What she does. have to. How to. To do. What does she have to do tomorrow. ¿Qué tienen que hacer mañana? Ahora veamos la respuesta. La respuesta tiene que ser una respuesta afirmativa o negativa. She has to. Write. Reports. Negative, she doesn't, she doesn't have, have to, to write report. Ajá, entonces acá con la respuesta de esta pregunta, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Ya cambia nuevamente afirmativo. Correcto. Correcto. Puede cambiar eso. Ok. Ok, pero no, no sé ahí, este, si ese era el, creo que era respecto a las preguntas y en las versiones negativas. El, Correcto, el, sí, sí, hoy sí ya me queda claro. Ajá, el, el verbo hoy ahí sí. no se cambia. Sí, sí, hoy sí, ya estoy con eso. Ok, perfecto. Muchas gracias, Verónica. Pero a si usted, no más por preguntas, explicar. pues vamos a descansar. Ok, gracias, gracias Verónica. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, good night. Adiós. See you. Good night. See you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Uh-uh. <clears throat>